Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Spirit of Islam. I am your host Ashraf Zaglul and inshallah today we will talk about genetics. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us when we are choosing a spouse, choose the person and watch who you choose because he says us in Arabic meaning the blood or the veins have an effect and have a, you know they carry on. So that's what we'd like to talk with my guest today, Dr. Qasim Khalil. Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Qasim. Wa alaikum alaikum Welcome back to the Thank show. You. It's always nice to have you back, huh? Thank you. Genetics and Islam. Well, uh, there's a belief that there is systematic creation in the universe. Yes. There's another belief that everything evolved from nothing. Yes. Uh, there is a belief that there is a guiding force that mm -hmm. manages and creates mm -hmm. and uh, uh, manufactures in a, in a very organized way life. Yes. Uh, now, if you believe uh, in the power of that force, then you never consider corrupting it. Yes. But if you don't believe in it, then it's a non-issue. Yes. So what's happened today is uh, that uh, there's been a great corruption of the genetic yeah. pool. Mm -hmm. This is through something called genetic engineering, mm -hmm. or uh, properly known as GMO. Or, mm -hmm. uh, and this is a way where the gene does not allow a foreign object into it. It has blocks for that. Mm -hmm. But what's done is to weaken the cell walls of the soybean, of the yeah. corn, of the cotton seed, of uh, certain types of fish, of certain animals. I'm sure and they're trying with everything. Every possible solvent yeah. and, and uh, agent, including a microscopic pellet gun, yeah. to break through mm -hmm. everything they can do to break through and, and force pork genes into rat genes, rat genes into pork genes, fish genes into tomato genes, you know, yeah. uh, bacteria genes mm -hmm. into corn genes, petu mm -hmm. petunia genes into soybean genes, and that's what's... Mm -hmm happened to the I creation. Yeah. I remember the ayah in, um, in Surah Al-Rahman, the ayah says, Allah تخسروا الميزان. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created balance in everything. Yes. And leave this balance alone. Leave it alone. And that's what yeah. this ayah means. Just leave the balance. The universe is balanced. The it genes is. is balanced. And because of whatever we want, we try to this imbalance. And that's what's the cause of a lot of problems. As I remember a doctor, uh, somebody giving in a lecture, that you know in the 60s where the babies were deformed because of some medicine they took. Right. And he said the problem was not the medicine. The problem is the body uh, aborts uh, a fetus that's uh, deformed. That's true. And this yeah. medicine, all it did is stop the abortion. Right, So that's true. there was deformed babies because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the balance. Yes. So, that's you know, true. when we interfere in this balance, that's what we yeah, get. That's true. And there are, are, are uh, interesting things that you see a great perfection in the universe. Uh, we know that the, the moon has a great power on the waves. Yes. If you didn't have the moon, there'd be no life here. So how did the moon get there? Why do you say no life? Just out of Well, you, you have to have the moon yes. to create the tidal waves. Okay. And the waves uh, sculpt the oceans. They, mm -hmm. they, 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 they whittle down the, 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 the mineral matter to mm -hmm. fine grains. Yes. Uh, they, they solubilize. They create the, the, the salts. Mm -hmm. And then that allows life to form in the oceans. And you have to have the waves to get oxygen, or the mm -hmm. water would just be flat. Or Hi, you Allah. know, so so how did that moon get there? You had to have the moon. Yes, it had to be a certain distance from mm -hmm. the Earth. How did the sun get established at the perfect distance to allow mm -hmm. life to form? You know, how did the ice get into the Earth through the Hi, compaction Allah. from yes. comets, and uh, mm -hmm. so that it was compacted, and then high pressure created, you know, hydrostatic forces mm -hmm. to pr to create the water which then, according to the Qur'an, forged forth from the mm -hmm. center of the earth. Well, uh, so, subhanAllah, of course, we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created all this. And then you see the people in the middle of the road who says intelligent design kind yeah, of thing. Right. You know, they don't want to admit that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there, but they know it could not have been by coincidence. Right, and they are now saying intelligent design because there's no evolution. There really isn't. And I've published, mm -hmm. as you know, science and religion that deals with yes. that. So, uh, it, so it what really do you tell us in science and religion, huh? I, it, it, science and religion tells us that there is systematic creation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, it's not a creationist versus an evolutionist. Very it's simple. Facts. It's a simple fact. You have uh, slimy creatures on the bottom yeah. of the ocean. Yes. Suddenly, they go extinct. 
Yes. Then uh, a type of a fish or mm -hmm. whatever starts, uh, another crustacean comes on. Suddenly they're extinct. Then uh, uh, reptilian beings, suddenly they're extinct. Yep. Fish uh, of, the, of the prehistoric times, suddenly they're extinct. Dinosaurs eventually, mm -hmm. they suddenly, it, remember, the, and then the mammoth, the woolly yes. mammoth with the grass in its mouth, mm -hmm. suddenly extinct. And so this is that intelligent design of bringing on mm -hmm. new creation. That's the Allah that we believe in. That's the God we know exists. And we know it didn't happen overnight. Yes. The beauty is Ibn Sina said that the, the, the finding of fossils on mountaintops mm -hmm. prove, he said this in the 1100s, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, ten, ten, ten that proves that there was gradual, slow mm -hmm. uh, evolution or development of the universe. Yes. So, uh, and we know that fi sitati ayam yes. means over six mm -hmm. eons yes. that the universe was created mm -hmm. and that I did not need a time for re uh, to relax and rest mm -hmm. yes. because I am full of power to keep the universe uh, yes. operating and that I'm steadily expanding, not, not uh, uh, just the Big Bang, which the Quran mm -hmm. does describe, that the universe began with one explosive event, but mm -hmm. that I'm steadily expanding it. Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, it started as Dukhan, cloud, uh, smoke. Smoke huh? cloud of radiation yeah. or smoke cloud of hydrogen gas. SubhanAllah. Yeah. Yes. And that the human being is created from uh, a stellar gas but or stellar environment. Let's go back to the gene thing and what are we doing, you know? What's the well, impact? this is the intelligent doing? design that they mm -hmm. call it, that we call God. And the God made the gene pool uh, yeah. impossible to uh, mm -hmm. penetrate. Yes. You cannot have a corn go into a piece of squash. Yes. You can't have a salmon adopt mm -hmm. a petunia. But even uh, an animal, when there's a cross thing, the child never uh, gives birth, right? right? You, you a horse and the donkey give us a mule that, that cannot some, carry on. Cannot carry on. Or in some animals, if they happen to, there are certain animals that could ne you can't get a raccoon to cross with, for example, a, uh, a fish. It can't yeah. happen. You mm -hmm. can't even get... Uh, certain mammals to cross with other mammals, but yeah. what's done now is you take a, a gene from one animal, you strip its outer membranes down with solvents, yeah. and then you, 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 uh, and you use a, a, a microscopic cannon mm -hmm. with pellets. The pellets contain DNA mm -hmm. from, let's say you've got a soybean, yeah. and you want to inject it with cauliflower mosaic virus, or you want to inject it with a different virus yeah. DNA, mm -hmm. or a bacteria. You actually take titanium, Mm -hmm. and you coat that with genes, and you use the gun to spray yeah. it, mm -hmm. to shoot it into the soybean gene. Yeah. And my yeah. feeling, you know, obviously it could be successful in the short term, but they don't understand the long-term effect and impact on the health. This balance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created, we, uh, you know, we change it, and we really don't understand the long-term impact. That's true, and we do see some people dying from allergic shock. Mm -hmm. from soy allergy, from corn allergy, which would be uh, worsened by adding other antigens. It's very yeah. simple. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing to ask, uh, do people who eat soy and corn and cotton seed, do they notice that they have digestive problems? Because mm -hmm. the most common genetically engineered crop is corn, cotton seed, soybean, and canola. And why, why are they being they're, engineered? They're, they're being engineered to increase the use of certain herbicides. Mm -hmm. That way, you, the reason for the engineering is very simple. It's yeah. not to feed the world, it's mm -hmm. to patent nature. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the reason. You patent it, mm -hmm. and then you uh, patent the herbicide, yeah. and then you own the seed, mm -hmm. and then you can take uh, that and, and, and have a monopoly on the seed. Yes. So you can make billions of dollars from your patent. So it's really all about money, huh? Totally about money. And then you can only use that uh, X herbicide with this seed. Mm -hmm. And if you're caught selling the seed or harvesting the seed, you'll be fined and sued, which Monsanto has done to Canadian farmers. SubhanAllah. Yeah. So, but what's the health impact of this genetically? Uh, change? Well, we know that cloned meat, the clo remember Dolly the lamb? Yeah. Died of arthritis and severe debility. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt, and the, the documents are showing that cloned meat increases the risk for cancer. Yeah.